<laughs> Looks like you got some plantar guardian action. <laughs> hey, can you tell me one thing? When did this occur? What was the timing on it? That's what, yeah. Um, when was the timing? It's all a big... I think it was around probably seven, seven twenty something. Seven. Or maybe yeah, maybe six, seven or six. Hold on, I'll ask Kyle just a second. Good day, sir. Good day. How are you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys laughing? What's so funny? What don't I know? Oh. What are you guys laughing about? Mm -hmm. Well, I was just sort of uh, wondering if, again, if, if there's a certain kind of configuration of combination, but it sort of involves Kyle there, where at some point, the, oh, gotta, gotta oh shit, the situation goes sideways. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Okay, so you heard. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know what you knew. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Um, I got it. <gasps> sorry, we're just. Uh, yeah. Hey, you got that table. Hey, man. It's awesome. So you did not instigate it. Who's that? Colin. Who? Colin. Oh, is that the manager? Yeah. And he's... He's giving her shit for what happened yesterday? Yeah. Is, is he evicting her? Hey, do you know that plantar guardian couch in is spelt wrong? You got plant guardian is G A U R D. Yeah. Just so you know. Why is that like that? I don't know, but wherever you've got your name for this Zoom, it says plantar guardian's couch in, but just the plant the guardian is misspelled. How do we fix that? <laughs> okay. Did you do that, yeah. Kyle? Why you got mad there? I'll change the name. I, I will, yeah. I just need a tutorial, a quick tutorial on this program, and I should be on it. <laughs> so did you just get evicted? No. no. Okay, good. Did he chastise you? Man. It rains, it pours, right? I can't hear you again now. You can't? Okay, okay so now I can't. Okay. You just need to speak up. It's not the technical thing. Okay. You were mumbling. Um, yeah. Oh. I like that. No, I like that. You like that. Give me here. Give me here. Okay. Oh, shit. This computer, fuck. Like, we got, you know, better, okay. Those were, okay. I just, we need to just tone it down a bit. Okay. So, we need your report. What's okay. going on in Plantar Guardian's couch? And your team of three is now down to two again? Two again. You lost a member. Yeah, and it was not pretty at all. It was pretty. It was very violent. Did you see it coming? Like, is he a violent guy? Like, had you seen that from him before? Or? <laughs> nice one. <laughs> He has flipped out over things before, but 
never in my presence, and I never thought that that could happen. Um, but <laughs> I, I am very surprised it didn't happen before, and I was very surprised that it wasn't at, at Kyle, but... <laughs> Wait, what wasn't at Kyle? Well, that it didn't happen earlier, but due to you kind of bugging him, but... Nope. <laughs> I, I tried my best. I really did my best. I really didn't mean to needle him, but I just, everything I said, I could, I could see it was like rubbing against him the wrong way. I just wanted to be friends and, 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 and be brothers, and I just tried to play his game, but I couldn't understand the rules. It was crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So, do you know when, like, you're really, really high vibe and everything's going in a really beautiful spin and everybody's on the same flow and, and in a good, like, in a good way? And you're doing that all day and you're seeing all these beautiful signs and all these beautiful things are happening. And then all of a sudden, some kind of huge evil or like some like the opposite happens the opposite comes in and just like it's like they just they can't handle the love or something or something and then these demons come out and then they like go into your friends and then your friends start tearing everything apart broke all my phones smashed smashed the <laughs> smashed the window in the jeep with a golf club yelling and screaming i'm gonna kill outside you. your spinning mini no thank goodness it's at my house my home okay which i told him not to come to if he was drunk like i guess i should have been clearer but i said i was uncomfortable with him being drunk at home and we're having tea and we came home just completely annihilated and there was just like a different entity in it it seemed like it was like it was like something else was running the ship and it was angry really angry wanted to get more beer wanted to drive we were like no you're not driving and then he, that's where it started, and it escalated from there. And... You were attacked, pretty much. We were attacked, like basic, yeah. Like something just switched off, and it was like a drunken, like, different animal. And he just, he just did everything he could to try and, escalate the situation and make it worse. Wait, who did that? Rob. And then, yeah, Kyle was like a very nimble and he kept trying to calm him down and calm him down. And I don't know, do you want to say something about that interaction? I was on the phone with a lady that was in distress and it was an intense conversation and I shushed them and you know and then I was like I gotta get off the phone there's something brewing here and I could just see this look on his face that was just like hate mode complete hate mode mm -hmm. so Kyle you had to do some Luke Skywalker action yeah so he he broke the window in your in your vehicle yeah you want to see it I don't think I could uh, have to bring that. Uh, yeah, it's fucked up. That's like the limit is the cable. Here. You still there, sweet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think the Wi-Fi is going to let me take you there. But uh, I can bring the car around. It's okay. okay. I think I got it. Was this in Lara's car or Kyle's car? It's okay, man. Kyle's car. 
Well, it's not technically my car. I haven't paid for it yet. Um, Whose car is it? It's uh, Charles Gerard, <laughs> Chucky of Golden, BC. Um, he's a he's a legend. He uh, he's a bear man, kind of a, a bear dude. Uh, he's a mountain man. He's a he's elusive, uh, reclusive, and um, lucid. I'm so emotionally exhausted. It's insane. Uh, there, there. Thanks. Hmm. Um. Sorry, I look like you're squinting. Can <laughs> I think? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's um. That's your report. Well, that's not everything, but. Okay. I was going, Kyle, your interaction with the back and forth and the bantering and the running and the yelling. Yeah, what about it? Can you do a... Describe it? Yeah. Sure. Um, <laughs> when in doubt, grab a shaker. Remember, you're a planetary guardian. I think, I think I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some sage for you. Thank you. This is sage inside. What's your brain? Okay, are you going to explain? I just, I don't want to be rushed. Give me a second. Steve? I, I don't, I don't know if Sage works from feel that smell that uh sweep can you tell us about cannabis and its spiritual uses well it's it, it can stop beastliness it basically takes the edge off it uh allows people to chill can turn some people into sort of uh, couch potatoes and turn other people into very high functioning people. Oh. You've never heard of the herb before? What, I've heard of it. I just, um, I'm kind of new to it. I'm, I have some here. So, really? And I'm using a small uh, socket piece to, to smoke it because I, I misplaced a special pipe that I'm very sorry about. I kind of fucked up. Right, this way. Hey, what are you guys doing Wednesday night at seven? Oh, uh, uh, I'm having a call of it's basically meeting number three of the Old Growth Forest Defense Coalition web TV show for Planetary Guardians, and it looks like we're going to start to get everyone organized around the Old Growth Forest protection. <clears throat> And that's going to be like the main campaign for the year. And then I think what we'll do is we'll aim people at the rallying point at Duncan at the Spinning Mini. And so when I come down there, probably next week, early next week. Really? Yeah. I'll be aiming at coming in. Oh. Early, next week. early next week. Yeah. Maybe. When's, the, when's that birthday? On the 7th. 7th. Yeah. So I'll... Somewhere, sometime next week, I'll be coming in, I think. Okay. Well, there's and room for you. And we're looking to gather the fleet at the Ninny. And mm -hmm. 
we'll stay there for a bit, get things going there, and then look to see where to go next in terms of uh, taking the fleet on the road. And eventually end up at some old growth forest place and uh, have a battle. A battle? Yeah. A dance party battle. We, we got to bring the youth of BC there and have a huge festival and protect the forest and basically not leave or, or create so much mayhem that they have to uh, stop the old growth forest being cut. Because You want to create mayhem? Well, that's why you're around. That's why you are involved. Finally a use for uh, this. Captain Mayhem. Major problem. Actually, no, I think you're a major problem. Can I get a promotion? Yeah, I think your new name is Major Problem. Thank you, sir. But, but then, no, that would make you higher in rank than Captain Sweep. Uh-oh! Um, maybe okay. Blair is a major problem. No, you're... I don't know. i got to figure this out. I don't, want, a major problem. I, I, I don't want a major problem. Problems are opportunities, right? You just wrote on me. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. I, the pen is mightier than the sword. <laughs> is yeah, it? I just got to make a cup of tea. Wait one second here. Excuse me, rather. I'll quote, right? I don't need any more beasts around me. Gotta make sure I. So much beastliness. <laughs> okay, so it looks like things are going real well on your front. Um... <laughs> I, I can see that uh, the troops are getting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, okay. So, yeah, so we're making more. Um, are, are you, um, what do you need, Lara? I just need it to be very quiet. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Kyle, listen to me for a second. Lair, Lair needs you to calm the fuck down right now, okay? Right. Why didn't she just tell me? Because you don't fucking listen, man. You should be able to read it. Yeah, I'm worried my dad. <laughs> Look what she just went through. She just needs some, like, chill, man. Some chill. All right. Yeah, it's love. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, here's oh. a Yeah. It's foam. <laughs> oh. <sighs> you have a little milk? Oh, that's all right. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> so just some good news. Next Wednesday, it looks like we might have a working prototype of being able to program chat rooms with the convo cards. Uh, that's okay. what the aim is for Noah. Uh, okay. So that's... Once we have that going, that's huge. <laughs> Every day is a school day. And you are exceedingly resilient. And I know that you'll be back in form. Just, you just need 24 hours about probably, right? This seems like a big one, so... Yeah, this is a big one. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks for doing that. It lasted for 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like okay. telling a five year old, okay, calm down and there it comes for five um, seconds. That's what I was doing all day yesterday. Shut up, calm down, like, stop, stop. This is my house. Get you know, off you go. This is not. This is not good. Time, how about timeouts? Like kick him out for two hours or something. Well, I tried that. Yeah, I tried many different things. Uh, we tried everything actually. I, I wish that, and then at the end, yeah, I wish that I had a stun gun, like a yeah. synergy gun that I could just 
Or a bubble, like a big bubble, just like a dome over the person so that they can't hurt. They talk, they, yeah. You know? That's a good idea. Yeah. And then as the oxygen slowly is breathed, they're, they're close to death, so they have to, you will pop the bubble if they calm down. No, I was thinking more like full of trees and like music and smiles and love. Don't like a, right? Okay, I got you. Thinking more of a, everybody needs a like, a safe place, I guess, in the middle of that. But yeah, so I was trying to develop something like that. We we're thinking about having an area where it's like, okay, enough is enough. You need to sit down here, put some headphones on in like a little like closed egg or something where there's like a whole bunch of sound he healing and yeah, good smells of trees and nature and yeah. Just like a pod, you can just go. Hey, can you get Kyle back in here for a second? Try and um, can you turn on the music too? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, my neighbors were like, they blasted me. They were like. You're a nice girl. Why do you hang around with all these delinquents and let all these people, you know, act like this around? You got we blasted have, by everybody. We have children, all this kind of stuff. I tried, oh, yeah. Just making me realize that, like, really got to be a little bit more, well, a lot more selective on who I decide to give my energy to help because I'm a really loving person and I want the best for everybody and I want to help people through their stuff so that they can be and understand the laws of the universe and and Sometimes when people don't want to heal and they don't want to awaken to that, it's not, it's a big force, big force against it. And um, I can't save everybody alone. And maybe I shouldn't, should just save myself first, I guess. Which I think I have done. But, wow, things, energy is intense and things is, things are. Well, you know what's, a, what's a, a good sign in one sense? It's like, if such a large attack happened at you guys, it means that what you're doing is, is on track, right? It means you're really getting close to mm. something really good. And so, you know, it, like earlier that day, it was so high vibing. We had such, we had such great ideas and things happening. So, to, to, see, to see the good out of the, the terrible, it just, it's proof that you're going the right direction and you're accomplishing high aims or else that wouldn't have happened, right? I mean, that was definitely an attack. And the largest, like, if that's gonna be mirrored by, you know, I guess, yeah, I guess that's the driving force behind all the love that we have is total eradication of your dark side. And, I guess you have to go really dark to realize how dark you can really be so you can understand it. And I hope that he learns the lessons. And he, realizes he doesn't remember anything of what occurred? I don't think so, no. Where is he right now? 
He's with um, the one friend that he didn't eradicate in the last week, which is Aaron. Does he, does he, did you tell him what he did? Like, does he know the full extent of what he did? No, not yet, I don't think. I told his friend, I hope she relayed the message. We have his phone, we found it here. I mean, could it be that, you know, he'll stop drinking forever kind of thing, like? I don't know. It's been, I guess, yeah, a long time of drug and alcohol abuse. I didn't realize it was that serious. Mm -hmm. um, Kyla, are you ready to describe what sure, happened sure, 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 sure. from yeah. your point of view? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I remember Rob came home. Uh, he was happy, he seemed happy to me. No, he seemed drunk, conflicted, where he was chuckling about some things, but he had this like tightness to him. Remember, there's this, this plane keeps buzzing us. It's bright red. It's right over top of us. It's got two Focus. props. Black, Focus. red, and white. Uh, anyway. Uh, I may be prone to paranoia at times. Um, Many devices. You think so? Yep. Uh, so it was happy, happy, sad, little annoyed, little jab at me. I jab back. He laughs. He does something, makes me laugh. We dance a little. Um, there was something about being in his energy when he was like that that reminded me, like, of you know, being at an Irish pub on St. Patrick's Day, and. Um, but I feel like a lot of stuff comes out there and you need to be in like, you need a super team to support that sort of super release. Cause he had stuff bottled up for so long. I think it just came out like a bang, uh, Mentos and a Coke or whatever. Mm. And uh, it was an eclipse, right? Wasn't, wasn't eclipse yesterday? An eclipse and um, new moon and solstice. Well, quite, quite a, I felt quite a powerful energy. Me too. Me too. Big time. Maybe, maybe a veil was open. Maybe for that moment, there was a veil open that demon was able to come through or something. What was able? Evil. Well, yeah, he went completely evil. It was like bad Brad. So, yeah. So after um, I got off the phone, I yelled a bit. I tried to, like, the two of them were, that's what I was trying to get your description about what happened. Was that was, enough for you one more? I'll keep going. More. Yeah, sure. The plane's coming back. And what, does it just keep going back and forth? It looked like it was doing circles. It did two circles as far as I can tell, but then it came back in the opposite direction. Huh. Anyway, red and white, two props. I don't know. Water bomber? Spy plane of evil? Spy plane of good? I don't know. Is that the only uh, thing we have to work with? Is it a binary? God, duality, right? What a world. Okay, keep going. Okay, sorry. Um... We danced and then we came outside. Lara was on the phone and, uh, and he wanted her attention. So he was doing things to get her attention. And then he jumped, humped into my Jeep. Well, it's not my Jeep, but technically yet, it's still Chucky's. But, um, and then he, he took the parking brake off. He said, let's go to the quarry. We gotta go to the quarry. And I said, okay, like we can go to the quarry, but we gotta wait for Lara. And then also we have to, you can't drive because that's unsafe. He kept saying, give me the keys, give me the keys. And keys, keys, keys. And I was like, no, 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 no. And uh, what else happened? Um, anyway, he, he was making threatening comments to Lara. And so that's 
what triggered me the most. So I started to like get closer to him. And um, he kept, he was saying he, he was gonna fight me, he was gonna hit me. And then he said he was gonna hit Lara. And so then I got really close to him between them. And I, I said, you need to leave. And I don't know, he yelled something, he said, yelled something. Oh, I told him I was gonna call the police. I told him, I'm like, I gotta call the cops. This is insane. Oh yeah, right. Like, you can't be acting like this. And he's like, go ahead, go ahead, do it. Do it. I don't wanna go home. That's right. And, and, you see it. and then he came at me and uh, I pushed him away and he came at me and I, I kicked him uh, like a flat foot in the chest, I guess. And he came at me again and I <clears throat> wrestled him to the ground and, and he kept trying to hit me and so I held him and then he, he was yelling that he was going to kill me and uh, he yelled that the most after C word. He yeah. yelled for a while, then he yeah, said he was gonna kill me. And uh neighbors can hear all this stuff too. Like, it was very loud. It was very loud and violent. And and Lara Lara was angry and she was yelling at him. I couldn't hear what. But uh, uh he started like laughing because she she hit him a couple times in the legs or something yeah i, sh I hit him when he was down i was down. i was holding him and he was like kicking and, and she was kicking and kicking him and uh, yelling and he started laughing like the joker like uh it was so scary like joaquin phoenix joker yeah not heath ledger joker yeah so extra scary mm -hmm. and yeah. Oh, and then he smashed your window with a golf club. Oh, and yeah, then, right. And then he was smashing that, and then he tried to smash the window for a bit there. He smashed the iPad, he smashed, smashed the phones iPad, that we just had repaired. Just repaired the phones, smashed those to smithereens. Your iPad and phones are all busted? We have one yeah. phone now. And that's my iPad for my store, like... For music, for the dance lessons. <clears throat> oh, my God. Yeah. And, um, and then we finally, like... I was trying to find a phone to call the police and then that wasn't smashed and broken and you had him in a you had him down on the ground and you said you were gonna carry him off you said like I'm the law and then you were like gonna yeah and then just trying to calm him down telling him to stop and uh, and you had him in a good hold that was good but I was yeah I wish at that point we could have yeah I would have ducked him up, I guess, tied eh? him up. Tied him up or something, yeah. It was insane. Um, so the cops, how, how long did it take for the cops to get there? Uh, well, first, he finally took off without a shirt. He took, I think you jerseyed him or something like that. He took his shirt off. And then um, he was on his bike, still yelling and screaming. And then he went down the way. And our friend that we just met, who... Is an amazing fellow and very smart and and uh, really enjoys company. He came over for a fire that night, uh, the night before. He was out on the beach, coming up the coming up the other road, like on the way, like down the way. He was coming up the road with his like walking stick. And this is like a tall, fifty-one-year-old man, very, very gentle, very you know, very nice person and kind and and uh he saw him from up above like rob saw him from up above and he was like you have 10 seconds or, or 10 seconds to uh head start i'm gonna i'm gonna can you stop thanks um i'm gonna um i'm gonna kill you or, or something like you jesus loving freak um, he's an anthropologist and um, he basically just like ran right for him and uh, to attack him and he was on concrete and I don't know exactly what happened there but he attacked my friend and um, we were talking to Colin 
who's like the guy that's the like the landlord uh, landlord's voice around here and uh, we were telling him the situation and then we realized that uh, yeah, we went up there and then we realized that uh, my friend Evan was assaulted and uh, we call and called the cops for us and we got yelled at by the neighbors and um, and Evan had like, he got had a blow to the head and um, a bloody knee and yeah, like got kind of taken down on the, <coughs> on the concrete, but he, yeah, he wasn't gonna, he's like, I'm not gonna fight you. And brother, like, what's yeah? I don't know exactly what. Do you remember what I said? Evan is probably a wizard or something, mm -hmm. and uh, he could have probably stopped that evil, but he tried to get out of the way. Yeah. And he got a bit, I guess. A little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. Metaphorically, not physically, but. Yeah. yeah. And so we called the cops, and then three cop cars showed up not too long after that. And then uh, they were really nice. They were really great. And then Rob started coming back down on his bike. And they're like, oh, there he is now, like right when we were first starting to make our statement. And, um, and, uh, they, yeah, they went to him and he basically just collapsed and started crying and uh, collapsed on the ground and just started sobbing and sobbing and talking about his wife, losing his wife and and the cops just right away, there were like 30 seconds of him talking, they knew that he was gone, he was just done, he's not even there anymore, right? Just. The officer star said, uh, "He's ruined. There's ruined. nothing left of There's him. nothing left of him. There's that nothing was left of his him. description. There's yeah. nothing left of that man. Yeah. And then he asked if we wanted to press charges, and that we could think about it. And yeah, we had to give a statement about all this stuff. And I think Evan decided not to, but basically he has a visa till September here, and." If we charge him, then there would be a court date in December and he would stay in Canada. Um, but I don't know if that's, I don't know. We don't know what's going to be most helpful in this situation. Yeah. We've never been here before. Yeah, it's new. Mm -hmm. I mean, it might be, it sounds like couldn't get much more rock bottom than that. And that's usually a place where people will make the shift to stop the drinking and the drugs or whatever it is and go clean mm -hmm. and, and go on a healing journey. I mean, that to me would sort of be the only solution. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think maybe for you guys, if you, you know, I, I think you, you should still keep arms length away, but I think you should, you, know, you might make that as a stipulation for any type of if you're going to interact with him at all he can't you know he's got to stop drinking and drugs mm -hmm. he might probably the best remedy wouldn't it i don't know well yeah and a healing plan would probably have to come in place like if you're wanting a healing plan we could help map one out for him it seems yeah yeah i mean it, it feels like there are so many things that weren't said he didn't say things that he, when you guys were together or I, I felt like I, I got these little snippets under his breath sometimes where he'd say like no 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 and I wasn't sure if it was like, like something about how he anyway I just couldn't hear what he was saying like I couldn't because he didn't want to really give it or, are you no, talking no. about last night or in general in general in general like all oh. the time he's just kind of talks under his breath or whatever like <clears throat> like not really telling us the truth of how he was feeling, but we've been asking what how he's feeling. We were having all these meetings. Everything was going very smoothly and when, well. Mm -hmm. um, and it was when he decided not to do the meetings with us anymore. And he was like, I'm going to work. And he had plans for, I guess that's what it was too. It was Father's Day. And he wanted to have a, like, a family barbecue and invite his daughter here and everything like that. And I guess they were giving him a little bit of 
um, grief about the timing and stuff. But I, yeah, he just kind of went sour on the people that were taking care of his daughter too as well. And the people that he was working with, his friends, um, they he walked off the job because he was like, this is a shitty job. And yeah, so yeah, so he basically burned all his bridges with all his friends in a matter of the week, like the week, during the week. And uh, uh -huh. he was mad at Emmett too because he was like, oh, Emmett said that I should be you know, grateful for these people taking care of my children and they're paying for, you know, they're financially supporting them and, you know, don't, yeah, tried to knock some sense into him too. And yeah, he just kind of was mad at every friend, like, and yeah, anyone that was trying to help him heal. And I offered him for like, I've got, you know, I was going to get you appointment for some acupuncture with my with the lady that's really great and she's, she could help you work through this. And he's like, no, I don't want that. I don't believe in that. And it's a waste of money. And I was like, well, <coughs> you know, I'll pay for it. I offered, I offered for him to go on a nice journey up and went to go fishing with my friend, Jess. And, uh, yeah, he was, I was like, I'll lend you the money. He's like, I have no way of making, making, paying you back and there's no firewood and there's nothing like he just was at a state where there's no no turning back and no light for him which I kept trying to say like are you kidding me like you know there's always opportunity what have we been talking about for the last how many months of, like you know really working on changing ourselves and inside we we're working on so much stuff yeah, synergizing every day, like it was really, we were on a, yeah, we we're on a mesh and it was great until I guess it got to, yeah. Well, I think also that, you know, you're a, as a triad, mm. you know, it's you and Kyle are pretty strong energies. And mm. so I would guess like he's not, like sounds like he's on the path of suffering mm -hmm. and you're on the path of service. I think Kyle might be on the path of, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Awakening transformation. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Could be, it could be many of the paths. Mm -hmm. Um, but definitely you're on the path of service and he's on the path of suffering and you know, which, whichever path Kyle is on, he's obviously, you know, not suffering. And so that triad is very, you know, there's some, there's, you both are, you've got a strong bond and you both have strong bonds towards him, but he's, he's in a much lower vibration, right? Yeah. So it's, it's sometimes like, it's, it can be irritating, right, for that person to be around people like you, yeah. because because your vibration is so different. It's so much the frequency is so much higher. Yeah. And yeah. you know when you're suffering, essentially you, you either want to be alone or you want to be around other people that are suffering, or you, you just don't want to be around until yeah. you hit rock bottom, until you decide yeah. that you are going to heal. Yeah. Or you, th I, or you get the hope that you can kind of, you know, because it sounds like all he was doing was pushing you guys away. Yeah, yeah. Got so to he's, that. Not, he's not letting anything in. Yeah. And so I think when people are on the path of suffering, that is one of the main points that they have, that they can't accept the mm -hmm. help, the healing, until they hit rock bottom or something major happens. And they're either going to, you know, they're either going to stay there or somehow you get through yeah or, but it, it, it sounds as if he you know he gave access to you know a demon in some me methodology probably you know through the alcohol through the bar maybe and maybe because the eclipse new moon solstice it's a very powerful energetic time and probably doorways are open yeah and something latched on and then he just and then that because you guys have so much light, 
then the attack, like the dark is drawn to the light, right? The dark wants to attack that light. Yeah. Um, and so maybe, I don't know, because it was Solstice 2 that, I don't know if you guys did a ceremony, um, but maybe you, you, yeah. did, you didn't have the, the gates closed, like you didn't have a, a, a container on your land. And maybe that's something you guys might want to do is you might want to do a ceremony to create an energetic grid on your land. Or maybe I can do that when, when I get there of protection, okay. right? You should, you should have crystals in, in the, in the land at the, yeah. eight, at the eight points okay. and then do a ceremony of protection. Mm -hmm. and so to stop incursions like that, that shouldn't happen again. Right. That's, that's a warning signal. It is. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, when we're working with all this like high vibe and stuff and like with all these, like, you know, with all this positivity and energy towards it, it's like, we gotta be really be shielded and we gotta be armored, shielded, armored. Yeah. And I think Mr. Kyle there, and boom. Um, just know that, I mean, you're with a high priestess there and that when she's doing high-end work or whatever your job is to protect her yeah your job is to see that nothing is interfering you're walking the perimeter you're you know you're you're keeping your eye on everybody you're yeah. like you're like security officer that <laughs> because for her to feel safe for he for her to do her real healing work with people she needs people like you and me and other people around that are guardians right true guardians so that to me is, it sounds like you, you were there and you did it, but to kind of know that that's one of your roles, right? Mm -hmm. So good job there, Kyle. You did it. Thanks. You know, but also know that, you know, this is a big thing for Lara and for you to, you know, just just you, you got to know when to keep calm you got to know when to leave her alone she needs some space and time alone so go off for a walk for a couple hours don't spend all your time there give give if she asks for space give it oh yeah and if she asks for space like a time out like an hour two hours three hours don't argue with her don't like come back in five minutes and start bugging her just learn to give people the space they ask for especially if you're staying on their land yeah. right like you're the guest so if she asks you she she shouldn't have to ask twice right to honor her request or what she asks and just this is what you got to learn this is a big thing on your end is like how to serve and how to respond when people are directing you in some from position of authority because she is in a, in a position of authority right and you have to learn to respect that. And it isn't just there to t you know, stop you doing what you want to do. It's she just needs to protect herself. Going through something like that, because as you probably know, Lara's gone through lots of things like that. She does a lot of things for a lot of people. So she needs her rest and she needs you know, the people around her to honor what she needs. Right? Yeah. Okay. I just want the best for everyone. And when I see like, when I feel the imbalances around, it's just like, it's like I, I can see the way, I can see the path of how, you know, it could be so much more harmony. And a lot of it has to do with communication, but it's like the blocks within communication is the hard part. I wish that, that at any moment we could just like, Ah, synergize. This is what I want. This is what I feel right now. This is what I, you know. Sometimes I just need, yeah. I, mean, I think definitely, you know, you need time to process this. And, um, you know, just, just know that you got, you know, it's, you guys are doing good work really good work and to, to honor that it's hard not to feel like such a loser no 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 i mean <laughs> no 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 
No, you know, no, no, no. Like you, when it comes down on you like that, it's like, oh, what did I do? Wrong. No, but it, I think, I think it's a natural consequence of you know, it's the healing crisis. It's, it's the people jump off the train. You know, and it's just, you know, there's a deep sadness I know on your part because you love so much and you love him. You could see his best. You want him to do well, but, you know, there are other forces at work here that, you know, you can't control. Everybody has so much potential and I see that. Yeah. I just want to like bring them closer to the light, but I guess... I would move to this, like, look at this more from a seasonal point of view. Like you're in the hourly minute to minute right now, right? And you're still in that thing. And just to, I think you should do some creativity. I think you should, you, you got to back up and go into your creative space just for you. And just spend, you know, two or three days just creating and just stop trying to, you know, don't help anyone in the next two or three days. Have some fun and create something. Take the energy and create something. Mm -hmm. yeah i had another phone call from a woman who like this is when it all happened i had a phone call from a woman that just met me through my store came in and we had a good beautiful conversations when she came in she's a, an older woman and seemed pretty on it but also an activist um and standing up for herself um, and she called me saying she needed rescue and she was in a place where they're trying to kick her out because they sold the place and they're trying to deem her sounding crazy she has no money or anything like that and she <coughs> needed rescue and here I am trying to like counsel this woman and tell her that, you know, everything's going to be okay. And we need to just to sit down and read and write down all the things that you want. And something's going to come and don't want you to worry. Be safe. You're safe. You're going to be safe. And I was like talking to this poor woman about, you know, finding safety and refuge through all this. Um, and yeah, like already I saw like some wheels turning of like, okay, like, yeah, on one side, like, oh no, is this another like really lost soul on the, or on the other side, does this person just need this opportunity? Like I had a friend just recently that said, I was wondering if it, if you knew anyone that could nanny and live in our house, just in nanny for trade. So I just, yeah, I was like, I saw that right away. I was like, oh, maybe I can help, you know, help her. and. I could help her get out there and whatnot, or maybe this person can take her in and and she could be a nice granny and be safe. And uh, yeah, like it's just coming at full force with me right now. Like everybody's kind of suffering and they're seeing me as a refuge. Mm. Because through the years, I've always been so supportive to everyone that came through my door and loving and people are starting to really recognize that and see that in these times and I'm getting, I'm getting patience like in every moment I step, like it's like, I'm almost like, yeah, I'm not even fully open in my store yet. Like it's so intense, but it's good. It's good energy and it's good. It's, and it's beautiful. And it's balancing very well. And I feel like everything's coming together in a large and beautiful way. But yeah, the suffering and we need to we need to really get the maps and cards in place that can that can help people realize from the different perspectives <coughs> the different perspectives that they should be looking at their life and how they can they can in their most um, in their most intense need for love and how to how to gain it how to get it how to find it within themselves and be able to you know 
live joyfully and without all this fear in the world right now. And stand up for what you believe in and stand up for Mother Earth and be a brighter, high vibing force to the good in this world. Because we need everybody. <laughs> I think what I'm seeing is like the different shirt knowledge communities, each one is going to have a different focus from the harmony wheel. But I think the Duncan shared knowledge community is the health one. So yeah. I think that the, uh, at the council of 12, um, and I said this before with the healers, right? Like, I think what'll happen is there's going to be councils meeting at your store to sit around the 12 table. And that the, what you need is you need that the other healers, you know, and again, did you, I can't find that healing map. I made that, that healing plan. Do you have the healing plan map? Picture of it. Huh? I have a really good detailed picture of it. Do you? Okay. Cause maybe if you could send that to me, cause maybe I'll make it again. Cause that, that was the best. That was so good. Healing plan map I've come up with. So I think that's, that's what we got to build in Duncan. And I think that the, yeah. So I, I would say like you're centering at that synergy wheel. That's why the synergy thing is so important for you. Yeah. That, and the synergizer, why it's so important for you. That's yeah. the main table for the six, for the, for the healers. Uh -huh. So I think this other one in England is the educational, is the education one. And there's going to be 20 shared knowledge communities. Mm -hmm. So again, I think the, the Duncan one is the health one. <laughs> so you're, you're holding down, you know, essentially maybe in some ways the energy that you, you need another 142 people, right? So, you know, between the two of you, <laughs> you're, you're sort of holding what? the reins or the energy for a much bigger thing that's coming in. But just to, just to understand that and to the only way to deal with that is, you know, to totally surrender to spirit, right? You really have to surrender. Yeah. Um, yeah, I see that. I've, I've been practicing that for a long time. And, and I think that whenever you're in overwhelm or whenever, you know, part of what yeah. the exercises is to truly go through your process of surrendering it. And um, I don't know if you do that, Kyle, but that's that's a big thing to do when you're in overwhelm or you don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. But just, I don't know if, if I'm the calorie, but definitely I'm coming and I'm just, I'm, I want to get as much done online here because I'm, I'm just a little, I don't know, worried. I just, I just want to make sure that I keep up my, my work pace. Yeah. And I know when I'm there that there's, there's going to be tons of work to do there regarding you guys, let alone all the stuff I'm working on too. Yeah. So, um, so I really, I really was thinking that instead of well, another table went missing yesterday, <sighs> in the day. so I had a round table and I was just going to put a new top on it and then it went missing. Someone picked it up and took it off of the times translator while I was painting it. What? Um, yeah, yeah. I put it on top of the Times Translator because I didn't want it to get rained on because I just did, I just finished, I'm doing it one at a time because it's just too in intense. So. You're painting a Time Translator. Yeah. Awesome. Every, everything's being repainted, right? Oh, 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 the, the one on the thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I. You mean the energy's I too intense? The, all the colors and stuff like that. Yeah. It's like going crazy. Wild, so, eh? First we started with. Mm -hmm orange minute to minute and then i all started doing timelessness and oh no i did uh the the pink was completely gone off of it so i did uh i did the pink which is um gosh i can't even think about it right now hourly hourly so i did hourly and then and then um uh oh batteries are oh, no. low um, can you get the cord? Yeah, get the cord. Is it just over there? Yeah. And then, oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, and so I was doing the um, the hourly, and then we skipped present moment, and uh, Kyle did timelessness in the center, and in that time, he realized that he needed had another engagement that he was supposed to go to and then he's like oh i got kind of flustered and then it kind of um and then flailed and took off i was like okay i'll get you like a computer so you can communicate everything's fine okay and then just sparkle this one sparkle timelessness and you know everything will match up fine okay good go and then yeah he kind of put down the the paintbrush and then he got a little bit of timelessness uh, a dot in the minute to minute in the orange so I don't know if that I don't know if that what that means so the timelessness went to minute to minute and we still need to paint the present moment and then the chair and then the table that we put on top was was it disappeared Angela took it you know Angela yeah I think she took it, it, took I don't know it why. yeah so anyway, what what I was getting at is that you remember the harmonizer that you had on canvas? Yeah. Can't we just print some of those and then we oh. can put the canvas on any table, whether it gets stolen or not, or we can put it on, you know, in the grass and the shade across the street. Well, I, I think I think there's something really important about the painting process and yeah. having your set on wood yeah. and then we could sell them with like we can we can sell them on the other th <laughs> Oh, big healing. Oh. <laughs> sell, sell some healing. Hey, hey, well, <laughs> yeah, well, well, well. Yeah, yeah, well. It's tough. It's it's like a it's like a shaman's job. <laughs> it's, a man's no, got uh, Nobody you know, wants to be a shaman. We got to eat. <laughs> really? <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. It's a gotta, tough job. I just, I just want to eat. Okay, um, I gotta get going soon. Okay. Um, but are you guys feeling a little bit better? Or? We're feeling a little bit better, and Kyle needs um, instructions, I think, from you about these tables because I, I maybe I'm, I'm doing it wrong. Like well, I am doing it wrong, obviously. Well, no, I mean we need four, <laughs> at least four. We can get more if, if you can. Right. Round, like probably half inch. Yeah plywood or uh yeah not the wafer board but no no it's plywood four yeah. inch and round and then two coats of primer two coats primer and then are you painting it we're waiting for you yeah well if if you feel you want to start i mean you could start painting the time translator here if you think you can do that oh it's the time translator that goes on all of these boards no just yeah. on one. Oh, what else on the other three then then the synergizer the 12 the, probably the eight the six the 12 and the time transit, maybe the nine, you're probably gonna need six tables. Two, four, six. All right, no problem. Four feet, half inch, two coats of primer. What color, and we're doing these sorts of colors with sparkles and stuff, so any primer well, just at some point, we're gonna need a full range of the paints, right? Yeah, I've got all of them, but we've oh. already used up uh, orange. Dang. Okay. Complete. Yeah, okay. so. Well, you're gonna get, have to get some more, but yeah, I mean, if, if you, just make sure that by the time I get there, that you've got at least four tables, because then I can I can do the sacred geometry quickly on them, and then we can all paint them and have like painting parties with people. Um, make sense? Yeah. But just that that Kyle is like your highest priority. That has to get done before. No problem. No problem. Okay. okay. And, and, and if, as soon as you finish that, no then then go what's next, and I'll tell you what's next. But just okay. due to step at a time. Do you both agree it's tables and, and water fountain? Water fountain? You both agree. Yeah. Well, we need a water fountain. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So he didn't even hear about the damn water fountain. No. Uh, he didn't. You're agreeing. I agree. Water fountain. No, Lara's on her own timeline. Lara's doing her own <laughs> stuff. But one thing, Lara, I would like to have those pockets on my cloak. Now you're frozen. <laughs> You should see the look on your face. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. You guys are frozen. It is the end. <laughs>